Australian cattle dogs are also known as blue healers, red healers, Queensland healers or Australian healers. These unique looking dogs are noted for their beautiful coat colors, intelligence and go all day every day energy. British settlers in Australia in the late 1800s crossed the blue marley and the Australian dingo. These energetic dogs love to run. They are loyal and beneficial for families as long as they can channel their energy. Here are 8 facts you should know about the Australian cattle dog whether you are considering obtaining one or currently own one. One of the most intellectual dog breeds is the Hiller. In common with other working breeds, healers also have a keen sense of purpose. It is also important for them to get a lot of exercise and training in order to use all that intelligence. The dense double coat of the Australian cattle dog. Blue healers have a water resistant coat that keeps them dry even while it's raining outside. They have two layers of fur, an inner layer and outer one. The outermost layer serves as a wick in this system. Once or twice a year, they lose their undercoat and don't require a lot of maintenance other than regular brushing and sometimes bathing. Dingoes are the direct ancestors of Australian cattle dogs in both appearance and behavior. English sheep dogs lacked the oomph to move cattle hundreds of miles in the blazing Australian sun, so they were crossed with dingoes. Domesticated dingoes were used to control livestock. Later, healers were crossbred with Dalmatians, Collies, and Kelpies to achieve desirable features. Puppies born to healers are white. A lot of people don't know that healers are born with a white coat. Their Dalmatian ancestry is likely responsible for these characteristics as well. Puppies begin to show their patterns around 6 weeks of age and become rather colorful. As the name suggests, Australian cattle dogs are known by many other names. In addition to blue healers and red healers, other names for these canis include Queensland healers and Australian healers. Due to their penchant for nipping at the heels of calves, healers are known as healers. They are known by a variety of other names including their coat color and where they come from. They are magnificent no matter what you call them. Healers are specifically bred to work with cattle. The term healer is derived from the practice of nipping at cattle's heels to drive them. The attention and respect of cattle require a particular breed of dog due to their obstinacy and size, which makes them more difficult to train than sheep. In 1980, the American Kennel Club officially recognized healers as a breed. It wasn't until 1980 that the breed was accepted into the American Canal Club, even though the standard was established in Australia in 1903 and has remained pure since 1893. Later, in 1985, the United Canal Club acknowledged it as well. From the working to the Hardin group, this breed has made the transition. A healer now holds the record for the world's oldest dog. The average lifespan of this medium sized canis is between 12 and 15 years. However, they have a considerably longer lifespan than humans do. When Bluey, a herding dog who resided in Rochester, Victoria, Australia with Les Hall, was 20 years old, he 
retired and went on to live for another decade. For the first time in history, he lived to the age of more than 29. Really amazing. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, give our video a thumbs up.